Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the studio. We're doing another cooking episode for you guys today. We're making our favorite seared shrimp simmered in a creamy garlic coconut sauce enhanced with lime juice and just the right amount of maple syrup. It's light, it's delicate, and super flavorful. Let's dive into it and see what we can do. If you guys do like our recipes and our cooking, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And please consider subscribing if you haven't done so so far. Let's do it. All right, to start everything off, we're gonna start with about one pound, a pound and a half of shrimp. And we're gonna hit that with about two tablespoons of sesame seed oil. All right, give that a nice mix. And then we're gonna add our seasoning, which is gonna be about two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. Now you can make your, hop out to make your own Cajun seasoning or you could just pick some up from the grocery store, whichever is more easy for you. All right, once that's done, set that aside for a second. We're gonna cut our one lime. We're gonna cut it in half. Take one half, cut it into wedges for your plating at the end, and we're gonna save the other half for the cooking process of your shrimp, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. Moving on to the next step. Okay, for the next step, you're gonna take your, your pan that you're gonna be cooking in and put one tablespoon of vegetable oil with one tablespoon of unsalted butter on high heat. And we're gonna melt that butter down and add our shrimp. And once we add our shrimp, we're just gonna sear it on both sides to get that nice, beautiful golden color on it. Uh, it's gonna be about one minute each side. So let's do it. Now that your shrimp is seared on both sides for about a minute, we're gonna remove it from the, the pan, put it in a bowl or something to keep it separate on the side, and we are gonna start our next process, which is gonna be um, sweating off our onions. So you're gonna get your pan down to a medium heat. We're gonna sweat our onions a little bit for about a mi another minute, and then we're gonna add in our garlic and sweat that down for another minute or so. All right, ladies and gents, now that your, your onions are in the pot with your garlic and it's making your house smells nice and fragrant, we are gonna add in to deglaze the pan with some coconut milk, right? We're gonna bring that to a boil for about a minute or so. Let all that flavor incorporate in your pot. And then after that's said and done, you're gonna bring that down to a nice simmer and just let that cook for a little bit. All right, so while now your, your coconut milk is simmering and getting all those flavors incorporated, what you're gonna do, you're gonna get your slurry together. And what we call slurry is pretty much your cornstarch with some cold water, and you're gonna mix that in, mix that up. And after that's nice and all the cornstarch is diluted into your water, you're gonna add that to your pan, which is gonna be a thickening Asian agent for your sauce, okay? Now I know I don't have the measurement on screen right now, but all the ingredients, the listing and measurement will be down in the description details down below, okay? So definitely check that out if you need to know what's in 
and what your measurements need to be. And you can always tweak them, depends on your taste buds. So now you just want to add in a little bit of time, a little bit of the mixture at a time, depending on how thick or thin you want your sauce to be. You want to get a nice saucy consistency, so play around with it. And if it's too thick, you can always add a little bit more liquid to it to thin it out. But yeah, ideally what you want it to do, you want that, so that sauce to kind of coat the back of your spoon nicely without just running down it, okay? So that would be a nice consistency for a sauce. Now that your sauce is looking good, smelling good, what we want to do now is add our shrimps back into that pan and cook it down a little bit to get all that beautiful flavors out of your shrimp as well into your sauce incorporate all of that all right from there we're going to take the other half of the lime that we put aside and we're just going to squeeze that in our in our pot and we're just going to really draw that flavor out with a nice citrus on top incorporate that mix it in it's going to be all beautiful and then from there what we're going to do we're gonna add a touch of our maple syrup to get a little bit of that sweetness into it. Some fish sauce, just a touch. You don't want too much, cause you know, if anybody has ever worked with fish sauce on this before, you know how potent that fish sauce could be. So you just want just a little bit. And then we're gonna let that just simmer down for about two minutes and extract some more of that beautiful flavor, incorporate some more, all right? So just give a little stir and yeah. All right, ladies and gents, we are approaching the final bit. All you want to do now is season well nicely with a little bit of salt and pepper. TT. TT is pretty much short term for to taste. If you ever see it on any recipe, it's called to taste. All right. So gear it towards your taste bud. Make it make it taste nice for you. You can add more and less. If you know, some people don't like a lot of salt. Some people don't like a lot of pepper. But yeah, it's all geared on you and how you like it. Okay, so coming up next, I put some potential garnish that you could put with your finished products. We can use some cilantro, we can use some lime wedges, we can use some chili flakes, some fresh peppercorn cracked on top. And yeah, it's all about your preferences, ladies and gentlemen. Now, please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Share with your friends and family if you really do enjoy these recipes so we can do more in the future. You guys are amazing. Stay true. We love you. Keep watching us. We're growing every day making new stuff new recipes check out it in the channel and we will see definitely see you guys on the next one leave your comments down below tell us what you do like tell us what you don't like tell us how we can improve on these dishes we appreciate everything all your feedbacks all right and we'll see you guys on the next one until then peace